Covered by Lord Conrad. Push and Shapes is going up well just behind those. Then Yoshi Noxious and Let It Slip is still being ridden along. She really hasn't been on the bridle at any stage of the race. Coming up towards the turn, remember Berlin, 400 from home. Leads the way here in the Listia Classic at the top of the straight. Led from the stable mate, Putri Jewel. They're a length and a half clear. Push and Shapes beginning to run on very well. So is Yoshi Noxious down the outside. Total Eclipse in behind them. Lightning in my veins is threading its way through the field as Yoshi Noxious goes up. Up to push and shapes. Lightning in my veins, though, coming through on the inside. The newcomer, Lightning in my veins, and Yoshi Noxious. But it's a group three win on debut. And you combine two legends of the sport, and you get a group three on debut over 1,400 metres, Fred. Yeah, the two legends being uh, Lightning in my veins and Dougie White. Don't sell yourself short here. This has been an absolute master plan by you. Well, i got to say, I, I doubted myself, and it was actually Neville Duncan's suggestion that we, we attempt to do this, and I thought, oh... I don't know whether it's doable. But the interesting thing is I have learned all over the years that it's very hard to train a good horse bad, and he, he covered up for me. And um, At the same time, I'd like to thank some of the local boys, uh, Shooter McGruddy and um, Jerry Noski um, and Lucy Warwick for riding this horse in all of his trials. I didn't get to ride today, but they were part of the win, and I thank them for that, and uh, very, very proud of the horse. Has been a very big team effort. What about the man that checked in today, though, and got the win, Douglas White? We just saw why he's regarded as the best in the world. Well, there's no doubt about that. It wasn't, wasn't easy. I did suggest that he'd miss away because of his lack of experience. And then when he was getting crowded in the straight, but a very green horse, never been exposed to that sort of pressure. It was his ability that prevailed. Fred, we'll be hoping that these colours again salute a little bit later. The 50 kilos, condition suiting today, been able to run on. Are you confident that Blackwood can run a race? She can run a good race, but when you look at the stats of uh, horses that win from barrier 14, it does take a bit of the confidence away. Just like the stats have said, a horse doesn't win a group three at 1,400 metres on debut. Congratulations, Fred. My pleasure. Thank you. We're with Douglas White now, and Douglas, we've seen two mastermind rides from you already. You try to slow him up in the first and skip away with a cheap victory, and we've just seen a beautiful ride again on a debutant over 1,400 metres in a group three. Yeah, it's great to be back. It's a lovely track. Um, I love the, the feel of it. It's great to ride, um, and this is a nice horse. I think he's going to get better from here on in, and uh, when he steps up to the mile, you're going to see an e even more progressive horse than what you see, saw today. And, you know, it's not easy for a first-timer to winning in uh, over 1,400, let alone Group 3 company. So they've got a nice, real nice progressive horse on their hands, and um, I'll be surprised in a year's time if you don't see him in Group 1 level. What were your inspections coming into the race, and what were the, the orders given to you about this galloper on debut? Oh, uh, you know, he's such a pleasure to ride for. You know, no instructions, really. Just get him comfortable and um, ride your race. It's, it's, so, it's lovely when people leave it to me, and, and I'm able to get a horse into a rhythm and, um, and, and produce the goods. Um, I wasn't tied down, so I got him comfortable and the split came and he, he was a, bit, a little bit raw in, to, to, to take the gap, but once he, he got confidence and, uh, and got through, um, he, he hit the line strong. Doug, we've seen you work your magic on this day at this track before. How confident are you that you can have another big day here? I'm, I'm always come here pretty confident, um, but more hopeful this time than confident. I've got a pretty ordinary gait and it looks like a real tough lineup this year. Uh, I don't think, you know, but, uh, Magic Alerts, obviously the, the, the stick-out horse from Melbourne, but besides that, I think there's a real, real tough uh, bunch from local bunch, and I, I think it's, it's going to be a, a really competitive race. What we've learned early, early, if anyone can, you can, mate. Congratulations on the win, and best of luck throughout the day. Thanks very much.